Hello and welcome to the BREAS tutorial series. In this video you will have a short introduction to getting started with the Nippy 4 and the Nippy 4 Plus ventilators. To begin using the Nippy 4 or Nippy 4 Plus, press the start stop button on top of the device or connect the power cord at the rear of the device and the device will automatically power up. At first the device will go into a standby mode where it states that treatment is not yet active. In order to change any clinical modes or patient settings, you must be in the clinical mode, which is shown by an open padlock on the screen and in the mode box in the bottom left corner. Before setting the device up, we recommend you complete a pre-use test of the circuit you are using. To do the pre-use test, you should enter the main menu via the bottom right button and select the pre-use test option followed by Start Pre-Use Test. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the test in order to calibrate the device for use with the breathing circuit you are about to use. This setup will be saved until you do another pre-use test or clear the patient settings. Next, select a treatment mode. To do this, press the bottom left button to access the mode menu. The Nippy 4 and 4 Plus allow you to select up to three patient profiles to set up. Firstly, select the profile you wish to use. Then select the mode you wish to assign to that profile. When making a major change to a mode or patient profile, the user is asked to confirm the change via the bottom right button. When using the Nippy 4, you can select the following modes. Pressure support, Pressure support with target volume. Pressure control. Pressure control with target volume. Mouthpiece pressure. CPAP. The Nippy 4 Plus has the following additional modes. SIMV pressure. Volume control. Mouthpiece volume. And SIMV volume. Once you have selected a treatment profile and mode, the interface is easy to use and consistent with the legacy Nippy ventilators. The following clinical parameters are listed down the left side of the screen. Treatment pressures, IPAP and EPAP. Inspiratory time settings. Backup breath rate and rise time. Target volume if in an appropriate mode. Patient trigger settings. These can be accessed via the first option in the main menu and appear next to the IPAP and EPAP settings. In order to simplify treatment in the home, patient profiles that are no longer required for use can be deactivated in the main menu options. To begin treatment on the Nippy 4 and 4 Plus, Connect the patient circuit. To start treatment, press the Start Stop button on the top of the device until the progress bar is filled. To stop treatment and enter standby mode, press the Start Stop button until the progress bar is filled and confirm stopping treatment by pressing Set on the main screen. The Nippy 4 has a range of monitoring options. The bar graphs in the centre of the screen show the peak pressure, peak flow and tidal volume of each breath during treatment. The monitored values on the main screen below the bar graphs include the patient's tidal volume, their minute volume, the respiratory rate and the current total leak level. If you access the main menu and enter the patient monitor section, you can view the live patient waveforms and trend data during treatment. It is also possible to look at the patient's summary compliance data in the main menu screen and set a minimum level of daily patient usage here. We hope you've enjoyed this short introduction. For more information and other tutorial videos on how to use the Nippy 4, please visit our Education by Breas website. Thank you for watching.